what's new at Jasper Engines and Transmissions and SEA Electric? What updates did Exos, Ford, and GM Defense announce? How are diesel fuel prices kicking off 2023? And what company just became 100% employee owned? I cover all of that and way more in the 81st episode of our top news recap from Truck Chat. I'm Lauren Fletcher, executive editor of Work Truck. Let's take a moment to check out the top work truck and van fleet news highlights as of February 3rd, 2023. But before I continue, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Let's start things off with some industry leadership updates. Jasper Holdings Inc. has named Matt Weinzapfel the new president of Jasper Engines and Transmissions. Weinzapfel began his career at Jasper in May of 1992 and spent five years as an intern in branch auditing and accounting. After six years as general manager, two years as a member of the Jasper production system, and three years as a diesel division manager, he was named vice president of engine manufacturing. He became the company's COO in 2022. His story is truly one of rising through the ranks. Stay tuned for an interview between myself and Wines and Atful coming soon. A global e-mobility technology company, SEA Electric, has announced the appointment of Justin Palmer to the position of President North America as of January 30th. Palmer comes to the role of SEA Electric with extensive electric truck industry experience, focusing on the delivery and final mile segments. Since 2017, Palmer was the president and CEO of Mitsubishi Fusho Trucks America, which included oversight of the global launch, sales, and support for the brand's industry-disrupting alternative powertrains, including the Ecanter line. With Palmer joining the expanded SEA Electric team, Mike Meinhart, who had led the North America business, will now head global marketing, strategy, and business development in his new role as Chief Commercial Officer. Next, the automakers have been staying busy with updates and announcements. Exos announced that it will continue its work with Loomis to support its fleet electrification needs. Loomis, one of the world's largest cash and high value item transportation services providers, is also one of Exos's earliest and long-standing partners. The first 100% battery electric truck from Exos was implemented for Loomis in 2019. Now, the partnership has expanded to include charging infrastructure and services from Exos Energy Solutions. Exos first unveiled the chargers at Loomis's Montebello, California location. While fleets in the U.S. are looking for electric options, SCLA Electric has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Mevco, a systems integrator focused exclusively on electric light commercial vehicles within the mining industry. The partnership will see all electric Hilux and Land Cruiser models available for the mining industry, with Mevco committing to order 8,500 units over the next five years. At launch, over a half of the 2023 allocation of the Australian-developed battery electric vehicles have been pre-sold, with demonstration models available in Melbourne, Brisbane, and Perth. Ford has done it again, adding yet another trophy to its growing list of accolades. Edmunds has named the Ford F-150 Lightning best of the best in its top rated awards 2023. This is after Edmunds named the Ford F-150 top rated truck and Ford F-150 Lightning top rated electric truck earlier this month. According to Edmunds, the best of the best is a brand new flagship award recognizing standout vehicles currently on sale. The Edmunds team acknowledged that the F-150 Lightning's advanced technology provides new solutions and values to customers that rely daily on the truck's capabilities. American Rheinmetall Vehicles and GM Defense LLC have won a contract for the first phase of the U.S. Army's Common Technical Truck Program. The two defense companies formed a strategic collaboration in 2022 to compete in the program. The multi-phased program aims to replace the Army's family of heavy tactical trucks with the production of up to 40,000 trucks valued at up to $14 billion. The team offered the HX3 Common Tactical Truck, which features an advanced interchangeable protected cab design, ADAS, and drive-by-wire operation. The new open systems electrical architecture allows rapid integration of leader follower, teleoperation, and fully autonomous capabilities that focus on protecting our most valuable combat asset, the soldier. Looking past electric updates, Ford Pro has added two more services to its fleet management program, title and registration, and driver risk management. Ford Pro's two new services are now available to Ford and non-Ford vehicles. Ford Pro Title and Registration handles fleet's registration renewals, as well as other title and registration services. Ford Pro Driver Risk Management Service works with monitoring electric driver motor vehicle records. The system will also handle ad hoc and annual MVR requests, monthly MVR monitoring, and provide access to driver safety training courses monthly per driver on demand. And Napa Hyde Manufacturing Company has celebrated its 175th anniversary this year. 
Marking nearly two centuries, the family-owned and operated business is based in Quincy, Illinois. In 1848, Hermann Heinrich Nappeheide, a German immigrant, moved to Quincy and opened a wagon-making shop, the Nappeheide Wagon Company. Nappeheide began vehicle upfitting in the 1910s with the Ford Model T. The company later became known for its grain bodies tailored for agriculture. The crash of the agricultural market in the 1980s forced the company to pivot yet again, this time towards service bodies, which continue to contribute to the company's success under H.W. Bo Nappeheide, the sixth generation leader of the company. Today, Nappeheide provides work-ready transportation solutions for truck bodies and is a provider of commercial vehicle upfitting. And Stellar Industries, manufacturer of manu uh, mechanic trucks and cranes, tire service trucks, hook lifts, roll-off cable hoists, trailers, and service truck and van accessories, is now a 100% employee-owned company. Stellar established an ESOP, or Employee Stock Ownership Plan, in 1991, with employees recently owning approximately 52% of the company's overall shares. The transition to 100% employee ownership will not impact or change Stellar's day-to-day -day operations, and President Dave Zrostlik will continue with the company in his current role. And in fuel news, national average retail diesel fuel prices increased to $4.62 per gallon as of January 30th, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. The average price represents an increase of $0.02 cents from the prior week and an increase of $0.78 cents over the same time last year. All regions saw a price increase for diesel fuel year over year compared to the prior week. The EIA short-term energy outlook expects refining margins for diesel to fall 20% in 2023, but so far, early in the year, prices have yet to hit those outlooks. And thanks for listening to today's episode of Truck Chat. Remember, this is only a sampling of the major news for work truck and van fleets that we covered this week. To read it all, head on over to worktruckonline.com and register for our e-newsletters so you can sign up and never miss an update. And don't forget, check out the rest of our YouTube channel, subscribe to our podcasts, and follow us on your favorite social platform, and you'll never miss an update from WorkTruck.